Hi there, Marty here, and I've got a little confession to make. I love poker. <laughs> well, that's not really a confession because anyone who knows me knows that I absolutely love the game of Texas Hold'em Poker. I love to play the game. I'll watch the game on television and YouTube. I love going into a casino and checking out all the action in their poker rooms. And I love that distinctive sound of someone who's ruffling their stack of chips. And what I really love are the reactions of players as their aces get cracked by 7-6 off suit, as long as it's not against me. And I even enjoy watching while some other players seem to avoid disaster and find a way to win, just like the players in today's episode. Today, we're going to take a look at some pretty interesting hands that were recently played during a 1-3 live stream on the regular Joe Poker Show. This is a weekly game hosted every Saturday on Live at the Reserve in Toledo, Ohio. We'll take a look at the hands, how they were played out, the approach that the players took, and maybe even do some math reviews. Now, if you'd like more information about the club, their channel, or maybe a list of events of all the action there, take a look at the description box down below. We'll have a link there for you. And while you're there, please smash that like and subscribe button because it sure helps our channel out a lot. Now, without any more chit chat, I say let's get into the action. dare I say, whining about? Well, oh, it, it's, well. A, it's a love-hate relationship. They love each other, but, you know, when they play cards, sometimes, you know, emotions yeah, get right. mixed. Now, a $10 straddle and a re-straddle here from uh, Buddha. That's what I mean. Really nothing crazy. And now just a, a bump. Here it is, ammo. Yes. Ammo's not going to mess around here with pocket jacks. Ammo is firing on all cylinders right now. 150 to go. Bob, he's feeling a little froggy. Suited 10-3. So early on here in this action, and we've already got a very interesting hand and a pot of brewing with 334 in here. Nick at the helm bringing us this flop between these two players. Let's recap the action so far in this 1-3 game. An agreement was made prior to this hand for Enright to make the under the gun straddle to $10. The double straddle was on for $20 for Buddha, and a triple straddle for $40 went out to Ammo, who's in the one seat. The cards are then dealt, and the first five players to act all pitch their cards into the muck, and the action is right back on Enright, who looks down at the 10 3 of clubs. Enright who rarely misses a flop, decides to go ahead and throw in the additional $20 in chips. Buddha, next to act, looks down at 7-4 offsuit and sees he only needs to toss in a couple more red chips to make the call. And then he turns and advises Ammo, the triple straddler, don't do anything crazy. That's when Ammo looks down at a premium hand, pocket jacks. Now, it didn't take him long to want to try to thin the field and end that hand right away, so he bumps up the price of poker to $150. Action's now back on Enright, who, I doubt even folds his own laundry, makes the call for an additional $120, bucks, to which Buddha wisely bails out of the way. The pot is now bloated to over $330 bucks in this $1, $3 poker game. The dealer lays out this flop of eight of spades, 10 of diamonds, 2 of hearts. Enright has hit top pair with a mediocre kicker. What could possibly go wrong? Oh boy, I thought that was 10-3. <laughs> and this could be a troubled hand for Enright as he flops top pair. Ammo and a convincing lead. Oh. 
Oh, oh boy, and a call here. 1K in the middle already tonight. And we did see uh, Enright the other night and uh, actually the time before pulling out some magic in these situations. Oh, oh my three goodness. On the turn and a six. And wow. Got Enrighted early on. Oh, man. Oh, man. That one hurts the soul. We have King Queen for Terry, Enright with Ace King, MG and Bob with Ace Queen, and then the Nemesis King Jack for Paige. Out of the way. Thinning the herd. Man, Terry is hemmed up right now. King Queen going against Ace King and Ace Queen. Man. Woo. And that's when the alarm should be setting off. Yeah, talk about painting yourself into a corner. Here's a four bet now from from Enright. You don't raise him, but you raise me. Good fold. Don't take it personal. I just wanted more money in the pot when I raised. You got it. You got my seventy-five. We pick up the action as we see Enright making a smooth call of $15 holding Ace-King off suit. Both Buddha and Ammo fold to MGM Bob, who looks down at an Ace and a Queen. He then three bets to $75. Over to Paige. He finds the nemesis, King Jack, off suit, and he folds, as does Guppy, the General, and Jules. They all get out of the way, and we're right back to Terry. Now, Terry's had a fairly rough night of it so far, so he quickly calls the 75, and the action is now back on Enright, who pretty much got what he wanted when he smooth-called Terry's earlier raise, and he wastes little time to 4-bet to $375. A now confused and somewhat agitated MGM Bob needs another 300 bucks to call. He reluctantly folds and delivers some snarky quips to Enright, as he congratulates him for taking his three little green chips. Which brings us right back to Terry. Now it is important to know that these two have had some history together. And I suspect with the amount of time he spent contemplating his next move, it's quite possible he was daydreaming of Vegas and the Mirage. I'm a little surprised Terry's honestly taking this much time with King Queen. Oh, and he's making the call. Oh no, he's doing better than that. He's going all in. Oh. <laughs> must be kicking yourself for not walking out when you could. Bad judgment. But don't you worry, son. It will all be over soon. Terry and Bob Enright have logged many, many hours playing against each other, both right. cash and tournament. And my guess is Terry just thought that uh, Enright was trying to buy it. What some people do is they take an Uber to my house. Oh, he has some outs now with Jack. Oh, there's the end right. He's going to profit 5.13 right there. What you call it, I got it, Bob. I'm sure glad you did it because it's going all in with my flop the ace for getting it all, for sure. Nicely done, Mr. Enright. That's it for this episode, and we appreciate you checking out our show. Now, we have several new episodes making ready to go, so if you don't want to miss out on all the action, be sure to smash that like and subscribe button. It's totally free. And if you have any ideas about future shows, go ahead and pin your ideas in the comment section as well. As always, play smart, play with heart, and always make it fun. This is Marty, and you've been watching Reflections of a River Rat.